Fuck yeah, it's Timmy who's crazy. Hello, everyone, and especially my seven subscribers. The apocalypse is upon us, unfortunately. The world is going to end today, and by Friday, we'll have new cannibal overlords. And if you don't get that reference, then please click the card in the top right corner of the screen. Because part two is coming out this Friday. Now if the apocalypse is upon us, then that of course means that today we are playing 60 seconds. Anyone that's unfamiliar with this, 60 seconds is a run where you get 60 seconds to grab everything that you need to survive a nuclear blowout. Today, we're going to be doing a fun little challenge where I'm going to be doing minimalism in 60 seconds. Now, I keep putting out videos and a bunch of new content, but I noticed that most of my traffic goes to the same couple videos, one of them being a minimalist quest. I, w I want to say this is essential. I want to say this is essential. Which was definitely fun, but I can't figure out why that's my most popular video. I That was literally done like my first week on YouTube, and my content has gotten better than that. So, we're going to be doing Minimalist Quest in 60 seconds. Here we go. The rules for Minimalist Quest in 60 seconds is basically that I'm going to be playing as Dolores, and you only get the bare essentials, and the bare essentials are basically food and water. Food and water and one other person, and the person that I choose is going to be Ted. Anything that we get during, after the apocalypse is fine, but we're going in with only each other and food and water. Uh, no. Nope, I just need the food. Nope. Oh my gosh, this is so hard because that gas mask wants me to take Okay, my entire computer just started freaking out, but we are all good. We're on day one, it's just Ted and Dolores, it looks like we have a gun, we have five bottles of water, so I'm gonna give them water every five days, and it'll take them ten days to go through a water bottle, so that'll last them fifty days. Looks like we have six cans of soup, so that'll last them- I feed them every ten days. So that'll last them 120 days, so we're more than good on food. Just the two of us. There wasn't enough time to get the kids, but surely this is just a drill. And they're okay, right? Plus a gun, and that was it. Oh, it's not really a stocked shelf. Being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there where you guys left your kids. So that doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we could take a walk soon. Yeah, maybe. All right, day five. And was I right? Did they take- they didn't take a food can. Alright, they really need water today, which is good because we're giving them water. No one's going outside. Uh, and we don't gamble with cards. If there's anyone who can rescue us from the hellish situations, our government, but we didn't grab a, a uh, radio. I think the most likely ending that we can get would be like the crazy cat lady ending. Because I will eventually send them out, but right now I don't want to risk them getting sick, especially when we have food that can last us up to food and water that can last us up to 50 days. Alright, everyone's starving, we get it. Oh, and they need water too. Surviving down here is no walk in the park. It won't get easier. We're hopeful this blowover. We're hopeful this will blow over soon and life will be back to what it used to be. Or else, we might face danger we've never dreamt of. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you don't dream of a nuclear bomb danger threat. Alright, there's our can of soup that we- oops. Alright, there's our can of soup that we just started eating. Roaches seem to get more organized every passing day. Um... They're marching in columns to our shelter now. We need to deal with this situation before their civilization becomes superior to ours. I mean, it's just roaches. I've never seen this one before. I mean, I think worse comes to worse, they're going to take one of our uh, soup cans. And that's not a bad trade-off because I have been practicing this run. And around like day 50, when the Crazy Cat Lady ending starts coming in, 
I get raiders and I want protection. Cockroaches aren't playing around. They're very territorial and they're having... And they're leaving us less and less space every day. What is this? Am I going to get, like, shut out by the cockroaches? With, like, a new... Oh, that didn't sound good. Okay, well, they still aren't taking anything. Living with roaches can't be too bad, right? Even if they're stealing your pillows, socks, and wallets? Why would roaches even need wallets? And that smell is horrible! I'm sorry. Alright, you guys get wallas. Oh, Ted's sick! No! Ted looks very weak. If he doesn't eat today, it might end really badly. Should not last till morning. I feel like they're being dramatic. They can wait. Seems awfully quiet outside. Maybe it's safe, maybe it's not. Yeah, at 10, you guys will go. A sleazy looking, carried an equally scruffy looking bag. Sure, let's get Shirkov. Because Ted normally gets sick by Shirkov, but he's sick already. So why not? Oh, Dolores died! Crap! Okay. Well, that threw a huge wrench in my plan. Ted, we're going to give you some food and water a little early. And you're going to go answer that phone. The end. Oh, I fed him! I fed him! I gave him food and water. Ted has safely returned from his word. There's so many days a man can go without food. I fed him! Did I not feed him? Okay, well that sucked. Um... That sucked. We're going one more. We're doing one more. Okay. Got... Oh, this is pretty darn similar to uh, what we had last time. Getting lots of water. Lots and lots of water. Ah. Ah. Then we're gonna real quick run and grab our husband, who's in here. And he is a large and in charge, very proud man. And yeah, not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. He just uh, takes up a lot of space. I don't understand why it takes me so long to just get those. <laughs> okay, is there water? I don't have time. I don't have time. Okay, we're good. We're done. Bye, kids. Alright, oh, we got so much water. And we have a harmonica, too. Not as good as the gun, but okay. Just the two of us. There wasn't enough time to get the kids, but surely this is just a drill in there, okay, right? No, they're not. Alright, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six soups, or six waters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, yeah, we are really good. We're a regular family, so we have the occasional argument or two, but it was never as intense as this. Oh my god, we just got down here. We cannot have marriage squabbles this early. Already with a phone call? Let's send Dolores out. I feel like it's gonna just be a pre-recorded message and I really hope she doesn't get sick going outside. Yay! We could hear a ga- oh! It's already the twins. Um, someone is very serious about banging on the hatch. We are scared to open it, but it might be some good news. Oh, so this might actually be one of the kids. This early in the game, like, I've never opened the door to, like, a raider or someone that stole stuff. Yeah, it's Timmy who's crazy. Already. Okay. We were not prepared for what, or rather, who was standing outside. 
Uh, it was Timmy. He was able to survive on his own. He was a bit jumpy and kept saying and kept saying something about the power of the conch, the magic conch. But he's safe with us now. If anyone doesn't understand what the magic conch is, it's a SpongeBob reference. Look it up. It's amazing. Okay, he's still crazy, but we're gonna fix that. Timmy's acting really weird. No duck. He like is wearing a soup can on his head. And he has a teddy bear. He has this fucking teddy bear head. Okay, everyone eats and drinks today. Dancing cockroaches? Not a problem. We're just gonna ignore them. None of us can sleep properly. Great, everyone's gonna get exhausted. Except Timmy. Timmy's already crazy, so. All right. Day 10, everyone eats, everyone drinks. Use the radio, so... We're just living, guys. Just living the minimalist life in... in Adamville. What's that sound? A galloping horse? Okay, this is the Monty Python guys that just want to look at our map, but we don't have a map, so... Unfortunate as it is. Because they actually always give you something, like a tool or something. During breakfast, we realized that some of our rations are missing. Our first instinct was to blame the communists, but we soon realized the real culprit was in fact Timmy. Apparently, he's been completely paranoid. He keeps muttering about how we're starving him on purpose. Oh no! He took a soup can, an entire soup can! Timmy, how could you? Did you need a new hat? Damn it! Yeah, we're gonna have to sudden Ted out. Cockroaches, we don't need to squish them. Oh, Dolores, she got some good sleep. Look at her with that resting bitch face. Day night. Whoa, Timmy. What's up there, friend? Why, uh, why you poking your bear in the eye? Why you got that weird look on your face? Look like you're gonna kill. Timmy has rested? Timmy is a bit of a crazy kid, but a few more days... He'll stay crazy for good. Okay, and now they're back to being tired. At least tired Timmy doesn't look like he's about to commit murder. Hopefully Ted comes back soon. Day 21, Ted's been out for far too long. Ah, oh, no, okay. Well, I was hoping he'd bring back something, which is why I turned down the cat, but... Dolores will go answer the phone, because she's not, at least not crazy. She's tired, but not crazy. Worst thing we have to deal with her is... Yeah, hello, what do you want? We can hear a gasp of relief. It's the twins. All right, day 23. <gasps> Timmy's no longer insane. They're both just tired. Okay, hopefully they can get a little bit more well-rested soon. And then, oh my god, they got, both got sick. Yeah, they're both super sick now. This sucks. And the government won't rescue us because we don't have a radio. Uh, nope, and we're trying to fight the cockroaches again. I've never had playthroughs where I had to, like, actively fight cockroaches. Oh, and Timmy's crazy again. Oh my god. Okay, they're both sick. Timmy's crazy. They're both super tired. When Timmy isn't tired, he looks all homicide-y. Day 27. Okay, well, at least Timmy's now well-rested. He's just still super sick, poking his bear in the eye. Guys, minimalism is not working in the apocalypse. Timmy can go outside. Timmy can go outside. He is probably gonna die, but he can go outside. And we're gonna send him, because why not? He's gonna die anyway if he stays inside. We've never felt weird, but today we had to revisit the term. It seems our little green pests guests are trying to communicate with us. One was even holding something that resembled a sign, which read, "We come in peace. We come in peace? What on earth do they mean? We come in peace. Okay, that's good. Okay, is there like a new colony ending now where like the cockroaches get us out? Timmy should have returned by now. Ugh. Well, we can last about 20 more days. 
It turns out Mr. Freeman, the physics teacher at Timmy's school, was right. One plus one does indeed make two. In our case, it's two or more cockroaches because those little people just keep coming. We need to clean up our mess or end with or end up with a full-blown infestation. I'm just gonna let them keep coming. Day 39. Oh my gosh, we are lasting a super long time being sick. Like I'm just waiting to die. <laughs> the end. Yep. And that was all she wrote. Dolores' sickness, sickness progressed quickly. Coughing, fever, chest pain, she didn't recover. We didn't make it. These are our final words. Incidentally, my camera and everything stopped filming after their final words. So that worked out perfectly. I think the big takeaway is that minimalism will not work, at least not for me, for the apocalypse. Should the apocalypse come soon, I know that I'm going to need to just grab and stock up on stuff, like a radio, a ton of food, a ton of water, probably more than one family member. You know, just things that I guess are a little bit more luxurious than the bare essentials. But with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!